Hello friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today, we are going to solve a second problem of a natural convection. Last time we have solved a first problem of natural convection. From that you have got a small idea related to natural convection. And let's read the problem carefully. This problem. In this, what is given? A fine wire having a diameter of 0 0.02 mm. So we are having a wire with a diameter of 0 0.02 mm. And you are knowing that all dimension we take in a meter. So this divided by 100, uh, 1000 we have to take it. So this divided by 1000 means what? 0 0.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. It will be 0 0.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter a diameter wire maintained at temperature. The temperature of wire is given to you 54 degree Celsius by electric current. So if I draw the figure of uh, electric wire let's consider this is the electric wire let's consider this is the electric wire this electric wire has a diameter of what diameter of this one 0 0.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter and this is maintained at a temperature of 54 degree celsius so this wire temperature is 54 degree celsius then this has maintained by electric current. So electric current is supplied to this one. So here there will be electric current supply. I will show like this. That there is electricity supplied to this one. Okay. Like this. Okay. Now. What they are going next. The wire is exposed to air. At 1 atmosphere and 0 degree Celsius. So whatever air around this is there. That is at 0 degree Celsius. The air temperature is 0 degree Celsius. And pressure is what pressure is. 1 atmosphere that's the pressure okay now let's see calculate the electric power necessary to maintain the wire what we have to determine what we have to determine we have to determine electric power necessary electric power necessary now you have to remember that whatever electricity we are supplying whatever electricity we are we are supplying to this one that ultimately get converted into heat because because of electricity supply, the temperature is maintained 54 degrees Celsius. That's the property of electric resistance. Because of electrical resistance, the electricity get converted into heat and finally heat maintained 54 degree Celsius. So electric power necessary means I have to determine heat transfer required for this. Heat transfer required for this. You have to make. Right. Then to maintain wire temperature if length of wire is 50 centimeters so what they have given another term length of wire length of wire is what 50 centimeter so 50 centimeter means what let's convert it into meter so in meter divided by 100 so it will become 0.5 meter 0.5 meter the properties of air at 27 degree celsius is also given to you a part of the property is given that they have given new k Parental number, Nusselt number, relation they are given. That all I have repeated here. That new is given, K is given, parental number is given, Nusselt number, relation is also given. The new given is 15.59 into 10 to minus 6 meter square per second. K is given 0 0.02654 watt per meter per Kelvin. Parental number is 0 0.708. Nusselt number is 0 0.675. RA raised to 0 0.058. RA is a Rayleigh's number. You have to remember this RA is Rayleigh number, which is nothing but Grishoff number into parental number. Now, what is Grishoff number and parental number that you are already known? Grishoff number and parental number is already known to you, right? So, with this given data, what I had to find out, I had to find out heat transfer. The procedure which we are going to follow in this particular problem is similar to what we had done last time because last time we had started with what. According to Newton's cooling law, and here also I am going to start with according to Newton's cooling law. So, solution for this here I can write according to according to Newton's cooling law. So, what says Newton's cooling law? Newton's cooling law says that Q is equal to Q is equal to H is delta T by this particular formula i can determine q and i can say this much amount of electricity we have to supply to the wire right so for determination of q i must know h i must know s i must know delta t okay so here what is the delta t delta t is already given to you delta t is high, uh, hot body temperature minus cold body temperature what is hot body temperature the heat is transferred from this electric wire to atmosphere with zero degrees celsius 
So here I can say that the temporary difference is 54 minus 0. Okay. So this delta T is directly given as a 54 minus 0 degree Celsius. Okay. This is given to you means this is known to you. Surface area is not known, but I can determine very easily. That is pi dl. I can determine it. So I will determine further step. Currently consider that we are not known. H is also not known. So H is not known and the surface area is not known. We have to follow the similar procedure what we have done till now. What is similar procedure? Let's determine H first of all. How to determine H? How to determine H? Similar to what we have done till now. The H is equal, H can be determined by the formula. Nusselt number is nothing but HLC by K. HLC by K. From this, I can determine H, but I should know LC, I should know K, I should know Nusselt number. Now, what is characteristic length? This is a horizontal cylinder. This is horizontal cylinder. Here, wire is nothing but solid cylinder and that is kept horizontally. And as it is kept horizontally, then diameter is characteristic length. Here I can write characteristic length is nothing but diameter, which is given to you how much? 0 0.02 into 10 to minus 3 meter. So, characteristic length in this particular is known. Characteristic length is known. Correct. K is given in the problem. Now, question is of what? Nusselt number. I don't know the Nusselt number. So, if I get Nusselt number, I can put over here and I can determine H. H can be kept over here and I can determine Q. Okay. So, let's determine Nusselt number first. Let's determine Nusselt number. So, for Nusselt number, what we are having Nusselt number equation, they have given the relation. Nusselt number is 0.675 into RA raised to 0 0.058. That's the given, right? So I am going to use same. The result number is nothing but 0 0.675 RA raised to 0 0.058. In this, what is RA? As I already told, it's a GR into PR. So this RA can be written as GR into PR. So the same relation, same this particular relation can be come as result number is 0 0.675 gr into pr raised to 0 0.058 what i done rather than Rayleigh's number i put gr into pr now i should know gr into pr in order to get Nusselt number so let's determine gr first for gr for gr how we can determine gr so you are knowing already that the equation for gr you are knowing already the equation for gr gr is nothing but g beta delta t g beta delta t rho square lc cube upon mu square that's the one formula in terms of mu if i want in terms of nu if i want in terms of nu then it will become g beta delta t lc cube divided by nu square that's the equation required. that's the equation required. okay so gr number can be determined if i'm knowing all the terms g is known Beta don't know. Delta T is hot body temperature minus cold body is known. LC is known. Nu is known. So only question is of beta. So now for beta, for beta, we are knowing the formula for beta. Formula for beta is nothing but one upon one upon the equation like this. Mean film temperature in Kelvin. That's the formula. Now what is TF? TF is mean film temperature, which is average of surface temperature of body. And atmosphere so surface temperature of wire which is given to you 54 plus atmosphere is 0 by 2 so it will become how much it will be 27 degree Celsius 27 degrees Celsius. so TF in Kelvin so it will become 27 plus 273 so how much it will become TF TF will become the 300 Kelvin 300 Kelvin. Right. Now let's determine beta. Beta is equal to 1 upon 1 upon 300. Its answer must come. Its answer must come 3.33 into 10 raise to minus 3 Kelvin raise to minus 1. Kelvin raise to minus 1 is the beta. Kelvin raise to minus 1 is the beta. So we have got 3.33 into 10 raise to minus 3 as beta. So in this particular formula now I am doing beta also. Now let's put all the values here and determine GR. So I am going to put the value in a GR formula. GR is equal to G beta. So 9.81. Beta is 3.33 into 10 raised to minus G beta. Delta T. Delta T is 54 minus G 0. LC Q 
cube lc cube what is the characteristic length characteristic length as i told you it's 0.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 cube that's the lc cube divided by divided by new square what is new given you can check out a given data 15.59 into 10 raised to minus 6 okay square so you can do your own calculation and find out gr so let me check what is the gr comes to be gr will be 5.81 218 into 10 raised to minus 5 that's the answer for gr that's the answer for gr now i must know pr why we are determined gr because i want nusel number so nusel number is equal to 0.675 gr pr raised to this term I should know parental number. Parental number can be determined by mu cp by k. But if you check a given data, in the given data, they have mentioned parental number as 0 0.708. So if they don't give in the given data, then I have to use parental number is equal to mu cp by k. So parental number is already given to you. Parental number is already given to you. How much it is parental number? It is 0 0.708. So we got now parental number we got now uh, Gresham number let's determine Nusselt number so Nusselt number is equal to 0 0.675 into GR into PR what is GR? GR is 5.81218 into 10 raised to minus 5 into PR PR is a 0 0.708 raised to 0 0.058 how we have written this? by the given equation given relation ok so we have got this one then Nusselt number you can calculate let me check how much it will come the Nusselt number you can do your own calculation so Nusselt number should come 0 0.37578 that's the answer for Nusselt number so we have got Nusselt number as like this now why we have determined Nusselt number Nusselt number is determined because I want to determine H how we can determine H H can be determined by the Nusselt number is nothing but HLC by K. HLC by K. So I got Nusselt number, I got LC, I got K, I can determine H now. Let's put all the values in this equation. So now Nusselt number. Nusselt number is 0 0.37578 is equal to H into LC. LC is a 0 0.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by K. What is the K given to you? K is 0 0.02 0 0.02 654 okay so from this i can determine h directly by the calculation and it must come 498.66 watt per meter square per kilowatt so this is what we have got value of h this is what we have got value of h now we have determine h why we have determine h because i want to determine q I want to determine Q. So in this particular formula, H is delta T. H is determined now. Delta T is already known. Now question is of AS, surface area of this particular. Now its diameter is very, very small. Its diameter is very, very small, which is 0 0.02 mm, you can imagine. What is the surface area of this? Can I say it's a pi dl perimeter into the length? I am going to neglect this area and this area because the diameter is very, very small. So Considering surface area for AS, I am going to use the formula as pi dl. Okay, that's the lateral surface. So let's put values pi d is a 0 0.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 into length of that wire. Length of wire is given to you 50 centimeters, so it will become 0 0.5. So surface area. Let's determine surface area. Surface area must come 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter square that's the area we have determined now once you determine the area then i can determine q by using which formula by using this particular formula that in this particular formula i can put q uh, i can put h as delta t and i can determine q let's put the values q is equal to h a delta t what is h h is 498.66 H A, what is the area? Area is 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 5 H A delta T, delta T is 54 minus 0. So Q must come, Q must come equal to 
पॉइंट एट फोर फाइव नाइन फाइव वैट दैट द आंसर यू कैन चेक बाय योर ओन कैलकुलेशंस बट क्यू विल कम टू बी दिस वन ओके नाउ दिस क्यू दिस क्यू इज नथिंग बट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी रिक्वायर्ड टू बी सप्लाई बिकॉज I can say this heat transfer is nothing but electrical energy. This is electrical energy to be supply, to be supply to wire because whatever electricity is given that ultimately get converted into heat. And I can say this is the electricity or the amount of heat transfer required for maintaining wire surface as fifty four degree Celsius. Thank you very much for listening.